welcome to the homestead. Here I am standing in my pantry and we've had some questions about what food we were able to put up over the summer and we thought we'd do a video to just show you what we have put up for the entire winter and a lot of this, most of this is produce that we actually grew in our garden. Some of the things were given to us but most of it is what we actually grew in our garden. And you'll see that I have lots of shelves and lots of space, something that would not have come in a regular manufactured home. This is the space that used to be occupied by an electric water heater and an air conditioning and heating unit. Um, what we did was, of course, you know, we don't have an electric house and we are living off grid and we don't have any electricity coming into the house. so. We pulled those things out of there and my dad actually went and built a bunch of shelves so that we could store all of our food that we put up for the winter. And what I'm going to do is take you through all of the different things that we canned and all of our other food storage items that we have here in the pantry. You'll see some canned milk. This was actually canned by a friend of mine who uh, her family has a milk cow. And she had an overabundance over the summer, so she, I gave her some jars and she canned me some milk. This entire top shelf all the way back is stewed tomatoes. I love using stewed tomatoes. I'll use them in soups and chili. Um, if I make um, any kind of pasta dish, sometimes I'll throw those in. They're great and um, we put up a lot of stewed tomatoes this year. All of these came from our garden. Down here you'll see our canned carrots. and. We don't have as many carrots. Uh, we will plant more carrots next year, but we have a fair number. Here I have my canned uh, spaghetti sauce or canned marinara sauce. There's no meat in here, so it's marinara sauce. And over here we have all of the things that I pickled. These are achicha cucumbers that we grew in our garden. and. Um, some of you are familiar and have purchased some of our achacha cucumber seeds and these um, I use to pickle. So I have pickled achacha cucumbers. Uh, here I have pickled okra and pickled dill cucumbers. So these are actually our very, very first job of canning outside over a fire using our pressure canner with what we did with the green beans. Uh, here I have canned potatoes, our squash bread and butter pickles. They're the yellow summer squash. Down here I have our blackberry jam and these are, this is made from the wild blackberries on our property. And we have tons of jars of jam all the way back, two rows. And then all of this is salsa. I have two different times I did salsa. One is a little bit different than the other. You can see that one is definitely more watery. This is more watery than this one. We loved my second attempt and we'll be doing that more next year with our tomato harvest next year. Um, this is the first time I canned salsa, so I had a little bit of learning to do. But I did find out what works and um, I ended up posting that recipe. If anyone's interested, they can look on our Facebook page. It is posted there. Here I have my sauerkraut. And I made a, you know, a lot of sauerkraut, enough to see us through the winter. Um, we had a, a few cabbages that did really well and so I made most of those into sauerkraut. These, oh, these are all of my chunky tomato sauce. Toward the end, you know, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard when you've done this so many times and to look forward to another canning day. <laughs> so toward the end of the summer, I was just trying to put up as much produce as possible and just get it done. So what I did here, which I will definitely do again, was I peeled the skins off the tomatoes, so I boiled them for about 30 seconds until the skins popped. Took the skins off, and then what I did was mushed them with my hands a little bit so I got some juice out. And getting the juice out was what worked really, really well so I have less juice in my sauce. And then from there I cooked my sauce, my chunky sauce, boiled it down a little bit, and then canned it. And it didn't take, it took about half the time 
as it did to cook down tomato sauce. And from there, I canned the juice. And um, I put everything that I had squeezed out of the tomatoes, I put through a strainer to get the seeds out, and then I canned the juice. And I've had some of this already, and it is delicious. I, I mean, I could open this jar and just drink the tomato juice straight. Yeah, and these are all my yellow squash and the rest of my yellow squash pickles. We have all of our dried food. Um, these are all my husband's peppers. <laughs> and some of you may know that he loves spicy food, so we put up a lot of dried peppers this year. And all of these jars are full of peppers. These, these two. These are the really, really spicy ones. What are these called? Uh, that is... This one is New Mex Twilight. These are Odin Pe Indian Peak ones. Um, these are jalapenos. This is jalapenos. The ones behind them are jalapenos. And this is um, a pepper that was given to me. I don't remember who gave that to me or not, but it was dried and that's why I dried it. And then there, there's some peppers I still don't have up there yet. The most hot, The hottest ones I have aren't up there yet. Yeah, so there's more peppers to come. <laughs> and this is the uh, sunflower seeds, and we did a separate video on that. If you're interested, you can find that on our YouTube channel. Moving down, I have all of my chicken stock. All the way back is chicken stock. And then I have canned chicken. Okay, moving down here, we have some sassafras that we harvested from our property. And this we'll be using to make root beer. Uh, these are our sweet potatoes that we grew in our garden. These, these are some squash that grew up on the side of our house. And we're not even sure what kind of squash this is. If you know, let us know. Um, it grew up in a patch outside our house and we did not plant it. We don't know really how it got there. Maybe we threw seeds out the previous year and we don't remember. Right here I have a Hubbard squash that was given to us this week by a friend of ours that uh, he grew in his garden. And I have eaten Hubbard squash before, although it's been a very long time and it's a very sweet squash. And we'll be enjoying this soon and saving the seeds to grow our own for next year. This pumpkin was also given to us by a different friend he grew in his garden. And we'll be saving the seeds for that too. I have all of my jars of canning still to come. <laughs> all of my back I have. Deer season starts in a week. Yeah, I have jars and we'll be hopefully canning a lot of deer. So thanks for watching our pantry tour. I'll see you next time on the homestead. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really makes creating these videos worthwhile. If you want to make sure to never miss a new video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Now you can get your homesteading questions answered. Visit us at our contact page on anamericanhomestead.com and send us your questions. Maybe we'll pick your question for a future video or article on our website.